Tim McCrossin has been a lot of things in his short life. A two-time national collegiate track champ, an Olympic athlete, a brakeman on the 1994 USA bobsled team in the Lillehammer Games. Well, now he's a doctor, a chiropractor on the north side of Cincinnati. But he's also something else. Dr. Tim McCrossin is a hero to some people in Jamaica. Nine on your side's Ken Brew has the story. When you've met presidents, heavyweight champs, and manipulated the back of Prince Albert of Monaco, and on top of all of that, you've been an Olympic athlete, life may ask you for something in return. So I called, I reached out to him and said, hey, how can I help? He would be Winston Watts, who will captain the Jamaican bobsled team in next month's Olympics. McCrossin met Watts when they competed against each other in 1994. They became fast friends. We see each other every day on the hill. This is the same Watts and the same Jamaican bobsled team immortalized in the 1993 movie Cool Runnings. But that was a lifetime and a few hundred thousand dollars ago. Winston Watts and his Jamaican team are hard at work preparing for the Olympics. But they had a problem. The team had qualified but had no money to travel, much less buy decent bobsledding equipment. To McCrossin, that sounded crazy. Sometimes I really look into myself and say, uh, yes, we are really crazy. McCrossin read about Watt's plight and immediately sent him money to help support his team and help buy decent equipment. He remembered those days in Lillehammer. And then when I opened up my um, uh, private practice here in Cincinnati, I reached out to them and uh, they came and did a grand opening and signed copies of Cool Runnings. That same internet story that alerted McCrossin to his pal's problem created enough bad publicity for the Jamaican government. They had a pony up. And other online campaigns raised even more money. But McCrossin was one of the first to help. Team Jamaica will now be able to compete in Sochi. Not so crazy after all. It, it's not many people can say they are from a tropical country, being out there and do a sport which is uh, winter sports, and we're so good at it. And a chance to compete, thanks to a friend in Cincinnati who never forgot. And that was Ken Brewer reporting. McCrossin still has great allegiance to the U.S. bobsled team. The American two and four-man teams both have excellent chances to win medals in Sochi next month.